I really enjoy fishing. It allows me to get outside, have some solitude, thinking about something that is technical, but also doesn't involve my work in any way. I am a psychologist and my research investigates how and why people progress along different trajectories of psychological development across their lifespans. My research combines approaches from uh, genetics and from environmental approaches in order to understand how genetic variation combines and interacts with social context. One primary project is the Texas Twin Project. It is a study of grade school twins that integrates data from biological samples and from psychological testing and social and environmental contexts. One approach that we've recently developed is a, an approach that we refer to as genomic structural equation modeling. And what this allows us to do is take large scale data sets that have been collected on uh, tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of people and use it to combine information from different people measured on different outcomes in order to build cascade models of how these different outcomes relate to each other in a temporal sequence over the course of development. My core team here at UT involves graduate students and postdocs. And in addition, I have an international group of collaborators in uh, Edinburgh, Scotland, and collaborators in Amsterdam and others in Berlin. He really loves math and statistics and he's really good at teaching it. And then he's also not bound to one research theory. Instead, I think he asks questions and tries to find the best data to answer that on. And if it doesn't support the theory, then that's what the data says. And he asks a different question. I really like working with Elliot. I think he's just he just knows so much about the methodologies and theory that interests me. What I really find rewarding is working together with my trainees and uh, mentoring them as they uh, make their own progress in their careers and their own scientific discoveries. Our research is allowing us to identify what matters when and through what mechanisms. And this can help us identify specific targets for policies and interventions to promote student learning and mitigate against psychiatric disease and dementia.